Hello, astro friends, and welcome back to another edition of In the Cosmos from the De Anza College Planetarium. I'm Toshi Komatsu, your host and the director of the Planetarium, and we have reached part three of our mini-series on the moon. We'll put links to parts one and two in the description below. But this time, we will focus on the moon and defining its path in the sky. As usual, we are starting here with a crescent moon low in the west, and it's just after sunset. Now last time we saw how the moon moves across the sky against the background stars and it moves from west to the east there, all the way to a full moon. But if we let the moon continue to step through time, we will see that eventually it comes back to about where it started in a 30 day cycle. Running time far into the future, we see that the moon definitely follows a distinct path in the sky. We never see the moon way up here, for example, and we never find the moon way down low over here. Now this blue line is called the ecliptic, and this is the line defined by the path that the sun takes in the sky. And you can see that sometimes the moon's path takes it above this blue ecliptic line, sometimes it's below. But the moon never really strays more than about 5 degrees, either below or above this ecliptic line. Now besides the moon, if we zoom in here a little bit, you'll find that we also have some planets visible as well. We can see Mars, Mercury, and Venus here. And if we follow them as well, or if you keep an eye on them, you'll see that they also stay near the ecliptic. And sometimes they are above the ecliptic, like Mercury there. Sometimes it's below the ecliptic like Venus there, but again, the planets never stray very far from the ecliptic. They might vary about 10 degrees. But seeing all of these planets and the moon staying close to the ecliptic tells us that the solar system itself is relatively flat. Well, that's it for part three of our series. I hope you tune in next month for the conclusion. Until then, please do like and subscribe to our videos here on our YouTube channel, and do check out all of our social media for all of our latest updates. As always, this is the Danza College Planetarium wishing you clear dark skies and signing off for now.